Hey guys, Cody Kai here, and today we're actually talking about one of my most sentimental pieces. I'm not going to show it here because I'm already blurring this out manually, and I don't particularly want to blur anything else out manually. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, I have a tattoo for my youngest daughter. I will be getting one for my oldest daughter. Do not worry. There's no favoritism there. It's just what happened, how I, what I got done sooner. Um, but I do have a tattoo drawn up for my oldest as well. But for Vera, I got this beautiful piece. I drew this myself. Um, here's the drawing of it. And then I went to, I think it's called Ink Therapy in Butte, Montana. And I, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember the lady's name. Um, when I went there and she did this, this is what it looked like the day of and it was a really good piece it was really pretty um i'm not going to talk a lot about that experience anyway i went there and the lady was very nice um she was very light-handed i've actually haven't had a light-handed artist since probably getting my collarbone done because my regular artist is uh have more heavy-handed unless you ask him but <laughs> he's a little bit heavier handy heavier handed and she just was very light-handed. I barely felt it. She did an ma amazing job. Like, I mean, I could probably bring it up again. I think she did great. Um, it just wasn't my uh, type of hangout, I guess. Hangout. It, it just didn't resonate with me. But uh, I got this for my daughter. Um, the reasons behind it are very personal. So it's a sword in a stone. <laughs> sword and stone obviously um uh from the arthurian legends because i really like the arthurian legends they are very good and then there's a crown hanging off of the sword and it says queen and then her name her yeah so it's it's really cool i really like it um and it's just cool tattoo. I went to go get the tattoo on my birthday of this year, so my past birthday. Just my most recent birthday, my past birthday. Um, and it, it's, it healed really, really quickly. Um, pain level was like maybe a one, two possibly. I could have probably fallen asleep in that chair, honestly. Um, it, was, it was just a really nice tattoo. It's a very sentimental piece. I I, I have nothing bad to say about it. It's really good. Um, this is what it looks like today, and I I love it. You know, it's just we got a piece of my little girl with me everywhere I go, and I technically got a piece of both my little girls everywhere I go as I right here. But um, no, I've I don't, I don't know. I just I like getting memorial or not memorial. My little girl is still alive. I like getting memories kind of tatted on me. Like when I die, I would like to look like a sketchbook and I want people to look at it and be like, yeah, you know, he really lived. And I, you know, seeing pictures of me, oh, this tattoo's from that si from that situation. This is why he got that tattoo and just like cool things like that. And yeah, anyway, that's my uh, sword and stone tattoo. Uh, have a good day, night, evening, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are, guys. Have a good one.